This object simply isn't resonating with me. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. I am... Uh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean... She pretended to be noble back then, too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. And I grabbed her throat. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming.
was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Ah, a figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for.